Good morning, Internet. It's uh, another morning, just uh, two and a half hours south of Salt Lake City. Uh, today uh, we just woke up and it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, we slept a little bit longer because uh, we are exhausted after yesterday's heat, riding in the heat. Today's plan is to go to Bonneville Salt Flats uh, by Salt Lake City and then from there keep heading north towards Canada. It's, it's a bit chilly actually in the morning. Uh, I thought it's going to be warmer, the forecast was uh, warmer, but uh, it is chilly, but it's uh, good riding weather, way better than uh, the 36 uh, degrees heat. So we're just going to take it easy and head to Salt Flats, check that out, and that will be the main goal for today. So right now we're just gonna have a quick breakfast and start packing and of course coffee is a must as well. You better get yourself some kind of a plate and a fork. Eat and then, because I'm dogging today. I'm dogging today, it's already 8 o'clock. Maybe by 9.30 we're gonna be able to get out of here.
All right, so we are ready, all packed up, and it is uh, 10 o'clock. Not with the plan, but that's what it is. We had to take it easy one day. And now let's rock and roll. Right now it's still straight, uh, 0.4 miles. It's 25 in here though. Nice little countryside. So it looks like we're approaching another smaller mountain range. So we will not be taking I-15 north towards Salt Lake Flats or Salt Lake City. We are heading on uh, Utah 132 right now. And then uh, we'll be making uh, north on uh, CR-1812. Now we are on CR-1812 Little Sahara. It might be a scenic ride by the looks of it because it's a secondary road. It's nice to be out on those little roads uh, instead of uh, zooming through the interstate. towards uh, US 6 from here. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Mountains are just spread out here, there. It's not like one continuous line. It's uh, very different. Now we're heading on US 6 towards Eureka. We're in a small little town of Vernon, just stocking up on water. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful area with uh, nice hills up and down, some turns, country roads. Uh, yeah, life is good so far. And we have probably another 120, 130 miles to go to Salt Lake Flats. And we'll see how it goes. Filling his backpack. A country style Silver Siege gas station. Small little town, nothing really except for this gas station. So we're approaching uh, the Great Salt Lake just in front of us. It's a little bit hazy uh, to see it properly, but we're pretty close now and you can see on the left the white stuff and uh, the water up front. It's a huge lake by the looks of it. 
So maybe we're gonna find some access point to get closer to the lake. Unless it's gonna kick us out on I-80 from here, I'm not sure yet. It's called, you know that the road that we're going on, it's called the Mormon Trail. You see, Mormon Trail Road. I'd rather find something close to this lake, so maybe I can launch the bird in the sky. We have five more miles before we hit I-80 and we have to head west on it. People are camping up there. And we are getting on to the interstate. Are you there, Papchu? So now we are on I-80, heading west. Another 60 miles to go to Salt Lake Flats, Bonneville. Must be getting closer like you can see the white stuff on the sides now Bonneville or no they call it differently here they call it Wendover 40 miles and Dorino 446 Thing all around, just white. This is just a quick exit of uh, I-80. And you see big nothing all around us. The mountains are far away. So we are like 20 miles away from Bonneville. And we have spotted that thing here. God knows what that is. There's no uh, messages or nothing. But uh, we wanted to check it out anyways. And I wanted to try riding on this thing. It's actually pretty clay, like a, it's sort of hard clay. So right now I'm just gonna take the drone up to, uh, drone up to the sky and see if I can get up there.
according to the GPS it's uh, exit number four to exit on a Bonneville Speedway so we must be near the end of Utah since we have exit four and yeah we got some signage in front of me exiting now and it says the uh, destination is a 5.4 mile from here all right so we're getting there now that's where the car cars are coming from There we go, there's people taking photos. That's the place. Salt Flats Speedway. That's so cool! <laughs> Hey guys, so we finally made it to uh, Bonneville uh, Salt Flats uh, racing uh, truck. This is just fabulous to ride on this stuff. Uh, you can give her as much as you want and uh, the grip uh, here is uh, out of this world. So you can't even uh, slide on that stuff technically. So I took a drone in the air and uh, it's gonna follow us. And now check out the view all around us nothing but white and uh, the camera has a problem to focus in this because everything is white and it's uh, really hard to focus it's white as far as you can see and I'm exhausted from the heat again <laughs> but the view is just something different it's like wow I drove here in a truck so many times but I never knew anything about this area. I figured it's white, white, but who knew?
gotta do is one more time. Experience in a lifetime, yay! One sixty. Yeah, baby. and that's it for salt flats uh, it's an experience one of a kind it's worth just driving here just for that to give her Amazing, amazing. <laughs> 30, 35, 36 degrees Celsius, but it's crazy. What an experience. No words. <laughs> Where can you go maximum speed of your bike? Nowhere. And it doesn't slide at all. So that's the highlight of today. a couple hours of riding today uh, it is 4 30 so maybe it's after six o'clock we'll be looking for a campground Let's settle for the night oh, viva las vegas hello nevada I didn't know I'm gonna be in Nevada on this trip. Right on, another state to check. So many, so much variety on this trip. But all that matters is that we have fun. Lots of it. All right, so we're exiting uh, I-80 on to, to Highway 233 in Nevada. Can't be too far. Montello, 22 miles. There's gotta be a gas station there. Wow, on the secondary road, speed limit 70.
So hey guys, after the Salt Lake, uh, we were heading down on uh, I-80 and we crossed into Nevada, Utah border. So we were for a few minutes, well, minutes, uh, I would say hour, an hour at least in uh, Nevada and entering Utah right there. And on the other side, you had to quickly turn around. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but the Nevada sign is in the back, but the sun is in the wrong way, so. Might not be the most visible. And we are just down on a desert here. All right, guys, let's keep on riding another couple hours. Uh, we want to push a little bit further today since we're sleeping longer. Just crossed back into Utah again. And there's no other services. Good thing we filled up because uh, next service is in 93 miles. And we are heading right now on Utah State 30 Highway. Uh, we're gonna try to make to Idaho today. out to be again a long day it is uh, 8 o'clock p.m. already and we are in the middle of nowhere no campsites no nothing so we continue going until we find something don't have much of a choice the Sun is slowly setting behind me starts to look nice that is one big state but at the same time, very beautiful. So we have managed to find a campsite. Uh, now, the only question is if there is any, uh, any sites available. And a uh, beautiful sunset on my left. Oh yeah, I don't think there's too many people in there. Fifteen bucks looks good to me. All right, so this is it. There's nobody here. Anybody here? No. It's no fireworks. Good enough. Perfect. I think that's good for me. All right, guys, so we have made it to uh, Kurlu National Grasslands. That's where we will be staying for a night. The sunset is just in front of me and you can still see a little bit of a reflection in the background. So there's a lake on the left. I'll show you in a second. So it's time for a brewski. That's uh, step number one before I even gonna start setting up the tent. And as always, if you enjoyed that video today, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below if you have any questions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. 
and I will see you tomorrow in another video uh, on the way home. That's the area that we will be camping on. We have a picnic table. I think that's the first campsite that we have with the picnic table. No, we had one in uh, Moab. And there is still fully loaded, not unpacked. I forgot to add that we are already in Idaho and that's the pond that I was talking about earlier. It's a beautiful sunset still showing in the background. So time to set up the tent and grab a bite to eat. Holy crap, gooseberries. But way too early in the season. Thank you.